e even in that day, uh, and I forget what the tickets used to be, but you know, thousands of people would line up to get into the festival grounds. And I, I think I told you before, a lot of it was all cash. There were tens of thousands of dollars to be counted. Um, we took that very seriously and, um, you know, made a, a financial report to the community. Joe Mayer was meticulous about all that and conscientious and, you know, a person of deep fiscal integrity. You know, this was not a guy who wanted to walk out with a few extra bucks in his pocket because cash is easy to handle, you know. Um, there were, we had uh, checks and balances and um, <clears throat> he used, uh, you know, accepted ac uh, accounting and bookkeeping techniques uh, to be responsible for all of that. Um, so it was a big change, a big change. And of course, with accountability, we realized um, how much uh, money came into Pride and that it was our responsibility to uh, keep track of it and to use it for the benefit of the community in establishing the next year's event. And then it wasn't too long after that where we realized we could afford to give grants to community organizations.